Hi guys, welcome to the very first episode of Vape Shop. Uh, today we're going to be testing out the fabulous LE80 by Lotus. And joining me today is my friend, Captain Creepy from Old Town Vapor Mill. If you want any of his products, uh, you go ahead and visit oldtownvaporMill.com. And of course, one of my best friends over here, Matt. Matt is the maker of Matt's Margarita, one of our house shoes here at Vapor93. You can pick that up at Vapor93.com. No, you can't because actually we discontinued the flavor because it kind of sucked. Uh, so, yeah, so we got the uh, Lotus LE80 and we're going to compare it to the IPV Mini 2 and the Segele 150 and we're going to talk about it and the first episode of Vape Shop starts right now. So what you got there, Bobby? Huh? <laughs> what you got there? All right, Kato, well, what I got here is an LE80 by Lotus. I hope you guys all like that intro. We spent about eight minutes putting that thing together. Uh, so the LE80 is by Lotus, and um, the reason we have three guys is because I'm a noob. Uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I see a whole bunch of new products come out. I own a shop. I let my employees talk about it. I don't know. What is this? Oh, it blows clouds. I'm good at pretending to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so he's like an expert. He's an expert in pre uh, pretendation. Okay. Uh, so, actually, uh, what he's going to do is uh, he's going to take the item uh, in question and he's going to say why it's good. And then Kato is going to rip it apart and say why it's good or bad. Uh, so get my hammer? Now I can get my hammer? Yeah, get the hammer. Okay. Hammer time! Oh, 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 we got to have it! Um, yeah. So, Matt, tell us what is so awesome about the LE80 by Lotus. So, the, the biggest thing and I think is really neat about this is the price point. Uh, you can get it for around 70 bucks. Um, it has a three position switch on it that allows you to see your voltage uh, and then you can put it into the middle. It'll allow uh, nothing to work and then you can turn it all the way up and it'll allow you to see what volts you're firing at. Um, and that's determined on what you set the potentiometer to. It uh, fires from a 0.2 to a 0.5 ohm coil or a 5 ohm coil, sorry. Uh, and it's giving you uh, from 3.3 volts all the way up to 6 volts. It nice. pretty much kind of reminds me of a Hexome. Uh, it's just kind of been sexied up, no more Hammond box. It's that LE80 style chip. Uh, so I have, I have noticed that they got, it kind of has the, the look of the IPV Mini 2, but it's like, it's a little bit bigger, but it's got that, that nice little groove. Right, well, your, your single 18650 there, 70 Yeah, this watts. is dual, right? Right, so this doesn't go off of wattage, this is variable voltage. So with a 0.2 ohm coil, if you crank this thing all the way up, it's capable of about 180 watts. Okay, so 180 watts. That's why I want to compare it to a Segele 150, because this goes up to 150 watts, but this is going to be way cheaper. Less bells and whistles over here. Less bells and whistles, This okay. is basically... You know, you can. This would be a great just beater. At a price savings of what? Like price savings. So you're saying you're at 125 bucks for these, okay? And you're at you know 70 for these. So okay. I mean, it's quite a bit difference. Um, voltage is way different than wattage as far as you know the way vaping goes, in my opinion. So I mean, it just kind of all depends on what you want. But you I think for the for the money, I think it's pretty decent. All right, so you mentioned something called a potentiometer. I don't know what the hell that is. What is a potentiometer? Well, when he says that, what he's referring to is the knobby thing. Oh, you know it's the knobby, knobby thing. thing. The knobby thing. Yeah. So uh, it's got a rotary dial on it. So if you guys are familiar with the oh-so-popular Hexome, it has a 200-ohm potentiometer on the side, a little black knob, uh, so you can adjust your gain or your intensity. This is the same thing. They've just added something different. So they've created something that's tried and true. They've just made it look a little different. Once you look inside, it's um, very similar to a, like a DIY style box. You've got your basic keystone sled in here. Um, it's got your solid contacts, nice solid keystone sled. Uh, it's got an OKR style chip in the back. So it's very DIY, but they put it in a very pretty package. Kato, what's an OKR style chip? Is it like a potato chip that I can eat in a very bag? Similar, very, very similar, very similar. Have you had the barbecue ones? 
<laughs> so it's yeah, just my like, favorite. It's yeah. just like that. Um, <laughs> except for you don't get salt all over your hands, you don't get all over your chest when you're laying in bed, you know, the way you always do. So, uh, <laughs> but anyways, it's got a cool feel on the outside as well. Hammond boxes have a textured feel. This is more of what we like to refer to as a soft touch. It's a silicone feel, so it gives it a cool grip. Feels very suede. That's an actual word, right? Man, suede. you're touching that thing with the fucking. Don't judge me. Looks like rub it. Don't judge rub me. Rub it in. Make it like a high, make a hiney hole. <laughs> make it. So it's, it's really a fun little toy to play with. Bad thing to say about the soft touch is it does show wear really easy. I mean, this is a brand new unit, and it does have some nicking, so uh, it is going to show some wear like any box mod that you pick up. Um, everything is in a nice, tidy package inside. Uh, the potentiometer feels a little bit. It's not in there super tight, but once again, you know, these are all off-the-shelf parts. These are all parts that you can buy at an electronics company like Mauser or DigiKey or something of the likes. Okay, when you were explaining to this to this uh, to me the other day, you said you can buy a lot of these parts at Radio Shack, and uh, I was like, oh, cool. But then Radio Shack is now closed down. Where can, where can we buy all these parts? Is it really really cheaply uh, made inside, or is it? Cheaply made stuff no, that's put together well. It's well made components now, where they're sourcing out, whether they're clone components or actual US components or whatever, I'm unsure of. But I uh, took one apart briefly, looked inside, and it had an OKR style chipset. Um, everything's nicely soldered in there, everything's nicely uh, managed inside. Um, like I said, it's a DIY style OKR box. They just put it in a pretty package for you. No charger, no screen for ohm reading. Um, it has a very basic 0.28 voltometer in it. Uh, but that allows you to get the price point. Okay, okay what is a 0.28? What did you the say? Small, it's got the small little voltometer in it, tiny okay. one. You know, they have the 0.32s, which are the big old honkers, and then they got the 0.28s, which are tiny. Okay. But I mean, at the price savings, I think it does everything a basic user. I don't user. know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. Once again, I'm really good at sounding like I know what I'm talking yeah. about. Now we're going to give you a close up, and Kato's going to really explain the innards of the box, and he's going to compare it to something that he built. Now it's time for. Taking a closer look. With Kato. Okay, so diving into these suckers and taking a closer look, uh, here we have the LE. Here we have a piece of garbage that Old Town Vapor Mill built. Um, looking inside, these are variable voltage mods. So you have your basic components. You have your 510 connection. You have your chip set. You have your gain control. You have your igniter or your fire button. You have your voltometer selection. Uh, there's a three-way slit switch here. Slit, three-way slit. You're gonna have to point that down because I can't see it, Kato. Fuck. Come on, bro. You act like I know how to do this. Well, okay. look, the camera. So oh, what if, camera you, lens what is if here. you just did this? There you go. Thanks, Matt. What about if I just quit? <laughs> Alright, go ahead. So, okay, getting back uh, in. Thing. Getting back in. Let's flip it around over here. Flip it, stick it, and it. There's the potentiometer, the gain control. Here's the ignition button. We have our chip set here. So it seems like, you know, we've gone ahead and removed the don't ever do this. And of course, we don't listen to anybody. So it looks like an OKR style chipset right here. Of course, this is gonna have thermal protection, it's gonna have low voltage protection, all your basic little trinkets you're gonna get with variable voltage. Um, there are a lot of DIY components in here. You have, it looks like a Keystone 1408 slid. Uh, you have basic components you can buy from an electrical supplier like Mauser or DigiKey, 200 ohm potentiometer, standard OKR chipset, standard tactile dome button over on the other side here, uh, nice and clicky. The thing that I'm noticing on it, that we noticed, is on the tabs, as everyone knows on a 14 0 Keystone, is they didn't bend in the bottom tab. It's straight down. So I don't know if you can see that, but they haven't bent down the lower tab. So what that causes, when you go to release your battery out of the mod, it'll tend to grab your shrink wrap and start to mar the outside of your battery, which, of course, is not a very safe practice to uh, engage in. So it'll only you know, tell as they spend more time in the field if people are experiencing problems. We know in-house that there were some times of intermittent usage, it would lose power. We pull the contact out, it gets better power, but then you have a better chance of it grabbing your uh, shrink wrap on your battery. If you look over here on this OTVM style keystone, which is the exact same sled, what we do is we bend in the look. OTVM stands for? Old Town Vapor Mill yeah. Buster. Recognize, raise up, and come correct. <laughs> So anyways, you see we fold in the bottom of the tab there, that way it doesn't grab your battery. Um, I mean, it's nitpicking things, but the cost of batteries, and especially as hard as they are to come by, you know, we, we don't need to be tearing up our, our, our wraps on them. Other than that, um, 
You can see separate components, chipset, all the separate components we talked about. On this, this is like a SX350 style. So the whole chipset is encapsulated in one unit as opposed to being individual components. So if you were apt or if your warranty was out or you wanted to engage in some type of modification, you could do that on this. Of course, voiding out your warranty. Um, on this, there's not a whole lot of manipulation you can do on a Yihi style or a SX350 uh, style chip besides maybe USB upgrades as they become available. Uh, other than that, uh, you're shit out of luck. So that's that in a nutshell. All right, where can you get things like this? You can get cool, really neat things like this as um, that's an Old Town Vapor Mill Barely Legal uh, drip tip. Uh, these come available. This is the Bubbles Edition from uh, Trailer Park Boys. Everyone knows about that. And if you don't, then we ain't got no business with you. Um, but they're awesome. Wide bore option, gets the heat off your mouth. Those are available at www.oldtownvapormill.com. Let's look at this. So a thing I see a lot of people talk about on the IPVs, on the Segelis and whatnot, is they're gonna experience when they put the atomizer on there that sometimes it'll mar this up. When they turn to 22 millimeter, they'll start marring up their units. Especially on the colored ones. Yeah. yeah, so check out on this LE. They've actually recessed a little well in there. You're gonna mar up your unit. <laughs> Um, promises. <laughs> yeah, always promising things that I do deliver on. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it has a standard drop in like 510 insert, so it's not like a big 510 uh, Fat Daddy vape style or anything like that. But it is nice that they put a drip well in there for you so you don't have your juice running all down the side of your. Mind. That's what she said. Dripping juices. So, you know, uh, all in all, it has a lot of pros has you know very little cons. I don't think you can look at them as cons. They're just looked at as a deficit. Yeah, I, they're money, all, you know? I mean, they're all gonna fire that tank. One's gonna do it with more power than the other. You know, the, the LE80 is gonna be real close to the 150 as far as voltage goes, because like I was saying, it, if that was a point two, you could get 180 watts out of it, where you're stuck with 150 with this, but it only goes up to seven and a half volts. That one goes to six volts. Hmm. Do you need to vape it over six volts? Maybe, no, I don't know, it's up to you. It's like, there's no wrong way to vape. So it's it's kind of comes down to form factor, really for me, okay. you know, and, and performance and in the time, the short time I've been using it, I've had, you know, pretty much zero problems with it. All right, so consensus is we pretty much like the LE80, yes? I like it for the price point. Yeah. Okay, so it's good for its price. That's kind of what I think too, Kato. I like it because it's simple and it's a good option for entry level variable voltage. Yep. All right. So um, that's pretty much the end of the video. This has been the first uh, episode of Vape Shop. Now we're going to do some advertising. So you can check out Matt on uh, Instagram here. You can check Vapor93 on Instagram here. I'm going to throw three at you guys. And of course, you can check out Creepy Kato, Captain Creepy, at Old Town Vapor Mill on Instagram right here. That's all you got, huh? Yeah, that's all I got that's left, man. I, I gave three to myself. Let me you know crank it up a little bit. Crank it up, crank it up. Go! That's all I get. That's all I get. If you want anything from Kato, Kato, take it away. Show them off your shit, bro. If you're looking for anything custom, from custom one-off box mods, custom commissions, stocked items, zombie, death, horror, retro, gamer, 80s, 90s, metal, whatever. Death horror. We're all about it. If you Wood. just want to customize your existing mod, we make one-off, machining, plating, milling, whatever. I don't care. If you want it, I'll make it. When everyone else tells you no, we tell you yes. That's my shameless plug. <laughs> www.oldtownvaporMill.com, Instagram, at oldtownvaporMill, hashtag OTVM, hashtag OTVMPV, hashtag keep it creepy, hashtag... <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for the first episode of Vape Shop. So check us out next time, and make sure to find us on Instagram. Submit uh, some comments in the section below. Yeah, what do you want to see next? What yeah. do you want to see us review? What do you yeah. want to see us break? What yeah. do you want to see us make fun of? <laughs> what do you want to see me break wear? Yourself. Yeah, so uh, keep it and creepy. subscribe. Subscribe uh, to this uh, YouTube channel. And uh, all right, guys, give us some big clouds towards the camera, and then I'm going to do like the special effect where my logo pops up. All right. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Exhale, bros. Oh, nice. Bye. 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 Now, can we go get donuts?